My name's Ken. Look at my hair. It's this coronavirus, I can't get it cut. But so I will do one day. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Logic. Logic is, can be quite a boring subject. But I have a game I bought for my grandkids. This one here. Called uh, Laser Maze. It's designed to uh, throw some light upon the subject. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't joke. Now, I want to explain how laser maze works. This laser maze helps to train your mind to think logically. We all need to think logically. So, I'm going to open the box and show you what's inside and then show you just how it works. These are the bits of laser maze. I'll explain those in a minute. And besides that, inside, there's a, a list of instructions, of course, and a set of 60 cards, I'll show you, in which the uh, units are mounted to make it nice and easy so they don't uh, move out and they're all in the correct place. It's used to uh, place the uh, units. These uh, go from uh, beginner, this, this one, uh, quite a simple one, up to uh, expert, which is number 60, and that's quite difficult, but I'll show you some of them anyway in this uh, video so card showing uh, what the actual elements are but i'll explain those as well okay. the individual parts this is the most important part which is uh, the transmitter press the button down it transmits a laser beam this is a a receiver or a reflector the green one is a reflector. I won't explain just yet, but I'll show you practically how they work. Another reflector, uh, a straight through, and this thing here, which I've never been quite sure about this one, it's a, a block, so you put it somewhere so you can't put anything else in the place. Seems rather uh, useless to me because logically, you wouldn't put in that space anyway. But what I'm going to do now is to put them in place and show you just how they in work. In this uh, first example, we're using the uh, transmitter and one receiver as uh, like uh, so. And if we press down the transmitter, you see that the receiver lights up. A very simple one so far. In the next one, I just set up the transmitter and uh, one of the purple ones as a deflector and the other one as a receiver and we push it down now you can see the beam is deflected from here to here to here like so the yellow one is a straight through pass it doesn't do anything it just lets the beam go through i'll show you now the beam goes straight through without being deflected. Flex the beam either to the right or the left, whichever way you place the mirror. I place it in the position like this, and then you can see that it deflects the beam to the right. It is rather special. It is a, a splitter. It allows the beam to go through and to the either right or the left, depending on how you place the mirror. So I'll show you an example here. Here, the beam is going to go straight through and then be deflected to the right. Watch the lights. See, the beam has gone straight through and it's also been deflected to the right. The very first card. What you get is a card where it shows you to position the uh, blocks as shown, uh, a transmitter and the receiver, and then you have to find, using the blue one, you see there, deflect the beam so the beam is uh, received by the receiver. The pink one here is receiver, the red one is used as a transmitter of course. So here's a setup. We have a uh, a transmitter, the 
deflector down here, making sure we press it the right way around, and the receiver, which is here, so we'll press the button. You see that the beam is deflected and lights up the receiver. Now that's a simple one. That's the, the cards take you through the stages. The first card is uh, the beginner card, quite easy. The second card is the intermediate card, which gets a bit harder. The third stage is uh, advanced, which is getting quite hard now. We have to position these blocks first and then decide where these other blocks go. And finally, the last stage, which is certainly quite difficult, is the expert stage. It takes a while to get through, but as you go along, it becomes easier and easier and easier. I think so anyway. So I'll go through uh, each one of these with uh, one of the cards and show you how each one goes. We've done the beginning stage already. So let's go to the next this stage, the intermediate stage, where they have the uh, blocks. The question marks mean you've got to decide which way they go. The uh, yellow one, and then you've got to decide where to put the uh, transmitter to give some sort of reflection. Well, I, I've seen their solution, so I'll put their solution down, which is this one. This uh, <coughs> shows the arrangement. Uh, the, uh, you've got to make sure these go the correct way around. That's why I have a question mark on the, on the card. But if you watch this now, the beam goes from there to here, there and is reflected round it comes back to this one here. Let me press the button to show you. You can see how the beam is being bounced round and reflected. That's uh, shown on this card here. There we are. How it bounces round. It goes down, <coughs> it's reflected to the round all the beams and to there. Now it's not the right way is it? Uh, that they, I've, I've done a different way to that, but it still shows uh, the beam being reflected. This is how they had it on their diagram, but it's the same. Watch now, you see the, uh, if you see where the middle one is, the middle one lights up now. So there are different ways of doing this, of course, that just shows you that the there's not just one way, there are several ways of putting the blocks to get a reflection. And so you see that they've all got question marks on, you've got to decide which way they go and they've got some two more purple blocks and the green block. So this is a bit more difficult and I'll put it on the board and show you. This uh, <coughs> shows the arrangement. We have uh, two receivers now, one just at the top. So the beam starts from the transmitter is deflected down through to the blue mirror along to another reflector through the pass to another reflector and then through the green mirror which splits it one beam going straight ahead and one turning right so those two should light up now, i'll show you it uh, it's not quite so easy to see because the beam starts to get a bit weaker now and I'll show you it. Okay, this is a, an exciting example. If I press the, trans, the uh, transmitter, you see that both that one and that one lights up. The beam is going through the green mirror, straight through and also deflected to this receiver here. Card 32, which is the uh, advanced stage. Next one is the expert stage, which is getting more complicated here. And this time there are three receivers and you have to put the blocks on like that first of all and then decide where these two green two purple and then transmitter goes i'll put that together and show you that working this is the, <coughs> this is the arrangement on the car you can see if you're careful that the transmitter goes through the green one and is also deflected over the block, deflected again twice, back to another green one, where it goes straight through to the uh, receiver, and then to the left, 
through the yellow pass to another deflector down to another receiver. Now, I'll show you this. It's not quite so easy to see because the beam starts to get weaker. The two receivers here are uh, this one and this one. Uh, you can see this one okay, it lights up. But it's not easy to see that one, so I'll turn it around a bit. The beam is getting quite weak now, so it's got a long way to go. You can see if you're careful that it does actually get there. So that's the uh, expert one. If you will buy one of these, it's tempting to go try some harder ones. But I advise you to start at the beginning and go step by step to do it logically. It will train your brain to think logically. I found it useful and my grandkids like it as well. This is uh, one of my uh, videos on YouTube. There are I've got lots and lots of videos on YouTube under Kenneth Mallison. Kenneth Mallison. I'll show you that in a moment. And on there I've got videos of all sorts of things really. Lots of my children's stories which I wrote for my granddaughters. Uh, but there are some practical ones as well on maths and science, things like that. You might find them interesting, so have a look on this video. This is uh, Kenneth Malice, and that's my video channel. As I said, there are lots of videos which all sorts of interest there. Have a look and see what you think. Bye for now. These are a selection of the things, my video channels, on my video channel. You see there are different styles. We've got some maths problems. Uh, what about the birds in my garden? All sorts of stories I've written. There are lots of stories for kids. Uh, this one here is one I wrote about I live in Poland. Uh, how does it work? Stories for kids, that's at the, uh, very young kids at the seaside. Uh, that was a, a mystery of Pearl Island was quite a long story. Different stories, and further down we have uh, Dash. I've got a, a robot called Dash and Dot. Uh, been in the kitchen, uh, that was a story, the, uh, the Gruffalo, of course. All sorts of things, get a bit further down. Uh, using class flow, I've got a thing called class flow, which is useful. Uh, another what I did for kids' room on the broom. Uh, task lines about circles. Anything further is there? There's uh, all sorts of things down there as you can see. That's using a smart board. I've got a smart board to uh, translate and rotate. Sorry down here, how did I have a do-it-yourself one? There we are. Laying a wood floor in a typical area. So you can see there's a wide variety of uh, things on my a YouTube channel. Oh look, you might find something interesting, you might not. Bye again.